everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of the chickens, just having my coffee. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning. That's why I got the shades on. And I gotta tell you, I am getting sick to death of having to bend over and stoop over and care for those Easter eggers and that little janky pen I built for them. So I'm thinking today is gonna be a tea post pounding day. And yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. That's because Sandy Sledge said it's got at least two more days on it, and I agree. I'm going to leave this in real time so you can kind of see how much work it is, or at least how hard it is for me to do at any rate. So here we go. Let's get started.
I've been trying and trying and this one won't go in any deeper see the flange is right there the bottom and uh, no matter how hard I try or how many more times I pound it it won't go in so I'm gonna leave it be for a bit and uh, rest a little bit and come back and try it later um, it might be on top of some rock I don't know but I just can't get it to go in any further even just moving it over a few inches really did help yep I must have been on a rock or something really really hard but I got this one in just uh, I don't know three more to go I think mm -hmm.
the T post pounded that I had left. And now all I have to do is work on the rest of the run. So I put the Easter eggers in their little coop run thingy and um, so they can't fly out while I'm moving stuff around. I don't have enough chicken wire to go all the way around, but at least I can get it started. So I think I'm going to show you that in the next video. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you that in the next video. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.